On a walk in Northern Ireland years ago, the great statesman and peacemaker John Hume summarized Irish history for me in one sentence when he told me, the Irish never forget and the English never remember. The long memory of the Irish people is at work once again tonight as contributions have been pouring in from Ireland to the Navajo and Hopi Families COVID-19 Relief Fund. Many of the Irish donors specifically mentioned the donation made by the Choctaw Nation to a similar fund in 1847 that was set up to help feed the starving people of Ireland in the midst of what was called the Great Famine. The Irish Times reports Cassandra Begay, a member of the Navajo Nation and one of the team organizing the fundraiser, burst into tears as she told the Irish Times of seeing the donations flood in. We noticed that we were getting a lot of donations from Ireland, so we were wondering why. Sorry, I got emotional talking about this part. Ms. Begay broke off. And I learned about what the Choctaw did for the Irish people, and it was so beautiful. The Navajo Nation which has one of the strictest stay-at-home orders, now has surpassed New York and New Jersey for the highest per capita infection rate in America. There are now 4,071 confirmed coronavirus cases and 142 confirmed coronavirus deaths in the Navajo Nation, which has a population of 173,000 people and includes parts of Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah. The total land area of the Navajo Nation is about the size of West Virginia. The international group Doctors Without Borders has sent a team of nine medical professionals to the Navajo Nation. The first congressional district of, in Arizona is a huge landmass that includes some of the Navajo Nation and is represented by Irish American Congressman Tom O'Halloran. And last week's hearing when whistleblower Dr. Rick Bright testified about the Trump administration's failures in dealing with the coronavirus, Congressman O'Halloran said this about the Navajo Nation. This fallacy that only ur urban areas are impacted is, is, and that it can't spread very fast. Uh, 16 people died yesterday. Uh, and in fact, uh, this on a per capita basis, uh, this currently has more cases uh, than any state in the country. And yet this hotspot is still not being addressed in the appropriate way. More resources are needed, and they're needed now, and they were needed more than a month ago when we started trying to get this done. Joining our discussion now is Blue Adams, a Navajo business owner. She's the co-founder of the volunteer group Protect Native Elders, which is distributing relief to Native communities. Uh, tell us what the situation is that, uh, that you're finding as you uh, tour uh, these, these uh, reservations and the places where this, this suffering is occurring. Um, first of all, thank you for inviting me to the program. Um, I would like to speak on behalf, uh, but not necessarily for my community. Um, what we're finding is just the, a terrible need for support and advocacy among our communities. Um, what we really want people to understand is the reason why COVID is spreading at an alarming rate and the death rates are so high is just the lack of infrastructure um, regarding uh, access to electricity, access to water, um, and also broadband internet. We're having a hard time disseminating information because the cell service isn't the greatest. And I think broadband saturation is only at 